Tuesday, October 10th. I'm Riley. And I'm Myra. Now let's all stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, and please be seated. We have a full week of school, and the quarter is almost over. Yes. Please make sure to keep your grades up and follow our PBIS expectations. Keep studying for any of your upcoming tests and quizzes to achieve academic success. Respect your fellow peers and teachers so we can continue this awesome year. Keep up the great work. Next up, National Day! Today is National Metric System Day. That's interesting. Very. Um, <laughs> now let's head on over to our clubs and activities. Hello, Hello Sycamore! Sycamore. I'm Jameson. And I'm Namia. And we're here with the clubs and activities announcements for today. Congratulations to our Girls Cross Country team. They are the GMC champions. Way to go, Girls Cross Country. Our girls' 8th grade volleyball teams have advanced to the GFC semifinals. They play tonight. Both games are at 5.30. 7th grade is playing at Creekside and 8th grade is playing at Plains. We would love to see some of you there cheering them on to the finals. Tomorrow evening, Wednesday, October 11th, is parent-teacher conferences. The conferences will run until 7.30 p.m. October is Down Syndrome Awareness Month. Everyone wear your yellow and your blue on Thursday, October 12th to support Down Syndrome Awareness. Beta Club members who are interested in volunteering for the Harvest Moon Festival will meet during Flex Bell amidst Dorkin this Friday, October 13th, in the Language Arts Makerspace, the Lower Teal Wing, near Classroom 1210. Notice, from now on, when making an outside phone call from school, classroom phones will you will now have to dial 71. There you go, and then the phone number to dial outside the building. Mark your calendars! Attention, all boys trying out for 7th or 8th grade basketball, there will be an organizational meeting on Monday, October 16th during Flex Bell in the cafeteria. If you're interested in trying out for basketball, be sure to attend. The first Partners Club meeting will be right after school on Wednesday, October 18th in Mr. Hodge's classroom. That's 2536. Parents will need to pick up students up outside the main entrance at 4.15 p.m. Partners Club is planning to attend the Sycamore High School football game on Saturday, October 21st at 10 a.m. at Sycamore High School. Your parents will need to drive you to and from the game, and they are, and they are welcome to stay during the game. We hope to see you there. Important, Important dates. dates! October 18th is School Picture Retake Day. Lost and found will be all gone on October 25th. Pick up your lost stuff or it will be gone forever. All unclaimed items will be donated to a local charity. October 26th is the end of the first quarter. Study and keep up those good grades. October 27th is a no school and a student personal learning day. Now over to our Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Sycamore Nation. I am here with Sebastian Gentle. He is our uh, one of our three Athletes of the Week. He was recommended by his coaches for uh, Boys Cross Country. And the coaches say the Athlete of the Week for Boys Cross Country is Sebastian Gentle. Sebastian has both great character and great work ethic. He sets his goals high and he puts in the hard work necessary to achieve them. He is a strong, consistent runner who is a great asset to our team. He too has worked hard for the past two years of cross country. As a seventh grader, Sebastian started his season with a two mile time of 1534, but currently holds a PR of 1216. That is a huge increase. Also beating last year's PR by 15 seconds. The coaches are very proud of everything Sebastian has been able to accomplish during his two years of cross country here at the junior high. Congratulations, that's awesome, I, at three minutes, that's fantastic. So uh, we have a certificate for Sebastian, we also have his write-up, and then we also have free Chick-fil-A, so you enjoy that. Well right. earned. Our second athlete of the week comes from Girls Cross Country, and this is Libby Carmody. And it says, the athlete of the week for Girls Cross Country is Libby Carmody. Libby has worked so hard for the past two years of cross country. She has a terrific work ethic and a positive attitude. As a seventh grader, Libby started her season with a two-mile time of, do you have any idea? 17. 17, yeah, 1748. But currently holds a PR of, you know? 1350. 
13.59, you nailed it. Beating last year's PR by 15 seconds, so that's awesome. Her passion for the sport and her drive to always do her best makes her a great role, role model for her teammates. The coaches are extremely proud of her, so that's fantastic. So right up for you, certificate as well. And how about on top of that, we'll get you some free Chick-fil-A. Thank All you. Right. Congratulations. You're welcome. And our final athlete of the week is Tia Buckler. And Tia is here from 8th grade cheerleading, correct? And it says, Tia Buckler is a model athlete. Not only is she a talented cheerleader, she is an incredible teammate. We can always depend on her to be prepared and to do her part for the betterment of the team. She is coachable and adaptable when changes need to be made. Tia is compassionate about cheer, and it shows in her improvement over the years. How long have you been doing cheer? Uh, this will be my fourth year. Wow. She is an absolute joy to have on our team. So, so many uh, positive statements ab about you here that just go beyond athletics, so that's fantastic. So we've got a write-up and a certificate and Chick-fil-A for you as well. Congratulations, Thank Tia. You. You're welcome. Bye. And those are our final Athletes of the Week for the fall season. We are wrapping things up, so if you're thinking about winter sports, please be paying attention for announcements. We've got boys and girls basketball. We've got wrestling coming up. Uh, we have a new program that we're going to be introducing, which is going to be dance. And then lastly, uh, we have swimming and diving. So uh, have a great day. Sycamore. Congratulations to our Athletes of the Week. Hey, if your class is interested in leading the Pledge of Allegiance in our daily video announcements, please email Mrs. Jarvis with the teacher's name, room number, and bell or time of activity, or record your class and send the video to Mrs. Jarvis. Birthdays! Happy ha birthdays to our students and staff celebrating today. And Nina S. And no one else. Have an awesome time celebrating your special day. Well, that's all I have for today. Enjoy your day, have a great day, be sick more, and go A's! Thanks, crew. Now it's time for the joke of the day. What is an actor's favorite dessert? I don't know, what is it? Robert Brownie Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Please hope you have a wonderful day. And, and go, go A's! Sycamore Junior High. I'm Nicholas Richter. And I'm Finn. Me and my friends are here from the Sixth Bell Music Productions class. We have some ringtones to show you. You can listen to ringtones just like this one. Break it, move it, move it. We have a link on the Sycamore Junior High Canvas page to download these ringtones. You can also check out our ringtones at the link. <laughs> we have various emotions you can choose from, including sad, happy, hype, and more. We're, we're so excited to share our ringtones with you guys. Don't worry. You will wake up to the best noise you ever heard tomorrow morning.